If it's true, and of course these are at the moment unsubstantiated allegations, which I believe the police are looking into, then it's absolutely horrendous. Um, of course, you know, was he doing this off his own back, his own volition? Um, you know, who knew at News International what he was doing? Because I do believe that you know the uh, that he, the private investigator, Glenmore Care, along with other private investigators, um, were doing certain things with the knowledge of the people that were obviously paying them. But also, my belief is that they were doing lots of other things off their own back, hoping it would lead to a big fat payday from whichever paper they were looking to sell it to. You don't know that she knew every detail of what Glenn Walker was up to. Um, you know, from speaking to a lot of people inside News International and on other papers, it's not as black and white as that. You know, um, that uh, they're in charge of the overall picture, but there's an awful lot of things but there's an awful lot of things that go on in a day-to-day -day basis that the editor doesn't know every detail of. I don't know. I've known Rebecca a long, long time, um, and I would find it very, very hard to believe that she in any way knew about anything like this. If these allegations are proved to be true, it's going to be very damning for News International, very damning for the news of the world, and I think it's, it's, uh, it's just pushed it to another level now because in all the stuff that's come out over the last year or two or three hasn't really affected the success or the sales of the news of the world. I believe as this proves to be true, then an awful lot of people are going to be very, very um, upset, disturbed, and probably will stop buying the news of the world, just as you know, when The Sun did that whole thing about Hillsborough. Um, many years ago, it affected sales in that part of the world considerably uh, for The Sun and has ever since.